Here's what I think Hogwarts Legacy's DLC should be about. My name's Ghostofana. I review, recap, and chat about video games. I'm a very small channel, so if you do enjoy this video, then please do hit subscribe and help me grow. Now there's a lot of chat around future Hogwarts Legacy DLCs at the moment. Some mention Quidditch, some mention, well, no DLC at all. But despite this not being a perfect game, many gamers would love to see some additional content of some sort soon. And I think it should be about Isadora Morganach. Spoilers are ahead here for the main story, but I'm assuming you've already completed the game, and if you have, you'll know that Isadora is essentially the secondary antagonist and creates the repository of ancient magic that Ranrock so desperately seeks. Now, her backstory is really interesting in that she joined Hogwarts late just like us and witnessed Percival Rackham using ancient magic as a child, but there are a lot of blank spots as well. I really enjoyed watching her progress via the game's flashbacks as she really grew in intrigue, skill and eventually power, but I found it really frustrating that we never really got to play as her. Part of me was hoping that via some sort of magical artifact, we would assume control of Isadora during the height of her powers, even if just for one mission. Now imagine a DLC of the same. It could begin with our player finding a mysterious item which can take us back in time to the days of Isadora Morganach in a similar way that Tom Riddle's diary worked in the Harry Potter series. As Isadora, we play through the gap years between her finishing Hogwarts as a student and later becoming a professor. She mentions within the flashbacks that she has quote, been traveling and learned new things. Now this would allow the DLC to be featured in a new area as Isadora learns how to become more attuned with her ancient magic skill and then adds some more backstory as to how she learnt of the ability to remove pain with it. Also, this may satisfy gamers who want to explore a bit more of an evil side of the game. Yes, the main game does allow you to cast unforgivable curses, but the non-consequence element of that really means that your witch or wizard still very much remains a pretty nice and polite student in everyone else's eyes at the end of the game. Isadora wasn't, in my opinion anyway, evil in the sense that Voldemort, Ranrock or Grindelwald was, but she clearly didn't let morals get in the way of her own ambitions, and this could be really fun to play through. Now, this is literally just what I would like to see. I'm not predicting we will, nor am I really saying that this is necessarily a good idea. I just think it'll be fun, but that's why I talk about video games instead of making them. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see explored in a Hogwarts Legacy DLC or indeed a future title.